Just minutes ago, wildlife officials tracked the mountain lion to a residential neighborhood and tranquilized the animal. Orange County Bureau Chief Chip Yost is live at the scene. He has been following all the developments for us. Chip. And Mike and Mary Beth, a lot of excitement in this Newport Beach neighborhood in the last hour. We're in kind of the port communities. All the streets here have port in the front of name, their name. Right now we're on Port Cardigan. If you're with us last hour, we told you we thought they were about to get the lion. We thought it had been tranquilized. It may have been. However, the lion got away. We'll show you a video of that. Uh, and they had to chase it to another neighborhood. They caught it just about probably 10, 15 minutes ago. Take a look at the video here. This is the lion believed to be the famous M317, that lion that's been going all around Orange County over the last few weeks. It's been sighted on P PCH in Laguna Beach. It's been in Irvine, walked through a shopping center, walked right into an office building. Well, today it was kind of creating a lot of chaos in this neighborhood. Like I said, we're on Port Cardigan. They caught the lion a street over from here because it ran around. It looked like it probably went through some backyards. That's where they caught Let's show you some surveillance video of the lion in this neighborhood a little earlier today. This is kind of what sparked the response from wild, wildlife officers, animal control officers, and Newport Beach police officers. It was spotted in the neighborhood a little earlier today. You see it on the surveillance video. So they brought all these officers out here. As I said, when we were here at 5 o'clock, it looked like they were about to put it in a truck, like they were just waiting for it to fall asleep. But then it got out and run away. Look, look at this video now. I'm going to bring in Joe Kogan, if I could, right now, while we're looking at this video. Uh, Joe was standing right next to me. Uh, we were sitting there chit chatting with a few people. The video you're looking at, they started chasing this lion around. You saw it, I saw it. To tell me, we're sitting here, we turn around. What did you see? Well, uh, I saw the, uh, well, I heard the, the gun. It was like the tranquilizer gun go off. And then all of a sudden, I see. This lion running up the street, this thing looked huge. I've never seen anything like it. It was awesome, but uh, <laughs> at the same time, kind of scary. A lot of the kids that everybody was here running off and it, was, it, it, was it was awesome. turned around. A lot of the people behind us were gone. Right? Oh yeah, they were, they were, but I stuck with it. I stayed here and uh, it, was, it, was, it was interesting. <laughs> and what did you think seeing it? I mean, that was pretty impressive seeing it up close over there on the other street. Yeah, and then and then once the, the cat actually fell asleep and, um, the the police and the and the animal patrol were able to get the the animal out. Um, it was it was huge. I mean, I just couldn't believe it uh, that something that big, you know, was running around the streets of the Port Streets. You know, probably happy it's out of your neighborhood. We only live three blocks away from here on Port Wheeler, and it's just I cannot believe it. Well, thanks very much. I'm glad well, me and you are both so okay. Thank you, thank uh, you. But like I said, the lion. Uh, that's been causing all the chaos in this neighborhood now is in the hands of wildlife officers. They're probably going to take it somewhere a little later and try to release, release it back into the wild. For now, reporting live in Newport Beach, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News. All right, Chip, thanks. Some exciting stuff down there.